McKenna and Miranda Granger. Now, Corey is 6-2. She did lose her last fight, fighting out of the United Kingdom. She's 5-3. The weight is going to be similar, so I don't even know why they even put that up there. They're in the same weight class, obviously. Now, she will be give, giving up a significant amount of reach to Miranda Granger. And Miranda is 7-2. She lost the last two fights. She's fighting out of the United States. She's 5'7", so four inches taller than Corey. They'll be in the same weight class. So, And again, back to the reach advantage, it will be quite a bit for Miranda, which I don't think it'll matter because she'll probably be on her back. Is a classic wrestler versus Muay Thai fighter. Yeah. Prima. Yeah. Corey, she's good. She's good enough everywhere. Like, she's solid, but not necessarily super dangerous in anywhere. But she knows how to win. That's the thing with Corey. If you look, go look at her record, her losses come by split decision. And then look at how many amateur fights she's had since 2014. To say that her only two losses come by split decision, that's insane. She fights like a fighter who wants to fight for the belt one day. She got it now. She do have to make it a little bit more exciting for people to care, but she knows how to get the job done. She Ooh. she's basically going to be like a baby John Fitch, who you're winning fights, but and you and you can win a majority of your fights, but do people tune in? Like when people see your name, do they say, "Oh, I want to watch that fight," or that's going to be exciting? The answer to that right now is definitely no. Now Miranda, she's going to be a more exciting fighter, but it has cost her. Because in the Amanda Lemos fight, we didn't really even get to see anything too much from her before the fight was over. She initiated the body lock clinch and then initiated the takedown. She got taken down and got choked out without the hooks. She should have stayed on the outside. One issue I have with Miranda is she doesn't use her height and her reach effectively like she's supposed to. Yeah. She has a bunch of submissions, which is odd, but I would prefer to see her just keeping the fight standing up and just stay on the outside. Poking a jab. And she can be good once she get into her flow state, but Corey's not gonna allow her to do that. Corey is not gonna sit back and let her position herself in the right distance and pump out the jab and use the front kick and use the leg kicks and the inside leg kicks and do what she wants for 15 minutes. There's no way Corey's gonna allow that to happen. Especially with 10 inches of reach advantage. There's yeah. nothing Corey can do standing up with her. Yeah, she's she, Corey, she, she, there's only one distance Corey can fight her, and that's on the inside. Yeah. So, I don't even have the whole world to say about this one because, and then Corey coming off a split decision loss, and she she not a loser like that. Hey, I'm taking Corey. I don't know if it'll be a finish. I don't think it'll be a finish because that ain't really. We've seen enough with Miranda in her fight against Hannah. Yeah. That's all we need to see. When Hannah, well, she really outstruck Hannah, but Hannah had her moments. And Hannah's shorter, ooh, they're similar. Yeah. Hannah is similar to Corey. They're both shorter. I think Hannah's stand-up is a little better. Though. It's better, but they both shorter legs, yeah. shorter arms. And actually, Hannah was able to do some crazy kicks, some crazy side kicks to the, to the head, to the face, and they were landing flush. And it just goes to show you how the reach is not being used effectively for Miranda. I just don't, I would like to see her fight with a little bit more of an intelligent approach, using all your tools to your advantage. Because to say that she's got the reach advantage, she likes to fight on the inside, it seems like. And in the UFC, you gotta use all your advantages because you don't want to give real estate to people. If you're fighting a shorter fighter, why would you give them the range they need to fight you better? Like, does that make sense? Yeah. So, and then you can tell she's comfortable on top with her submissions. She's not comfortable on the bottom. So that's another thing. That falls into the Myra, yeah, Bueno Silva thing, and like so many others, fighters who have good submissions. But a lot of fighters have good submissions if they're on top. If they can, if they're on your back, and if they're, if they're in a dominant position. But if you're on your back, there's no jujitsu. Forget about it. So yeah, I'm it's picking core. It's crazy. You got the longer, more athletic fighter. In Miranda, you have the shorter, hungrier, grindier fighter in Corey. And I think Corey wants some more, to be honest. Yeah. I think she's going to find a way to get this win. Me too. I'm taking Corey. I'm taking Corey too, man.